out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. It's my favorite reality show. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. <gasps> sexting. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? <laughs> Mason. Always Mason. The number's Mason. Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, What's this? Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. We can rewind that. What? <laughs> hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Yeah, that's right. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Right? Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. <laughs> Jesus. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Oh shit. <laughs> I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Are we going to like break in? I need proof Dana is innocent. Let's go break into Victoria's room. Red rum. No boys allowed. What is that? That is a shower. Okay. Obviously not where we need to go. We'll bang for Jesus. Jesus. Don't mind me just sneaking into your room. Very stealthy. Shoes, clothes, TV, gazette. Not nothing we need. Leaflet. On a laptop? I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. You like this uh, fake Facebook? <laughs> Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Bitch down. Wait, where's the, where's the printer at? Printer. Printer. Oh, right there. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I get out now. No one saw me, right? It's all good. Everything's gravy. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. <laughs> now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. That's one objective down. Actually, kind of like two. Uh, where's your... Done. Get the flash what? drive. Desk, and desk, desk, desk. One. Pregnancy test. Probably shouldn't take that Max without any consideration. Precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. Unless we can. Uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. <laughs> You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. All right. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. Or, you know, we can just reverse time and make that not her. happen. Boys, it's like there's nothing down there on the floor. We should probably get out of there. 
Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Like, how was she even able to do that? Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. I was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other? That beat dad? You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Uh oh. Sorry to pry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. <laughs> anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Oh, except that was the guy we were kind of shitting on earlier, though. All right, so, okay. <laughs> More attacks, the longer I take. <laughs> good way to do it okay so where's he even gonna be he said like in the parking lot but I don't know where that's at probably <laughs> holy shit. shit shit fuck damn I better rewind get lost hipster I'm not doing any interviews get lost hipster oh fine I'm not doing it fuck this shit Okay. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. There we go. This action will have consequences. Everything in this game is going to have consequences. Watering your plant, telling someone to move so they get bashed in the face by a football. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. <laughs> That's basically just what the game would tell you, but he's like, I'm gonna tell you tell you right now. I will remember oh, that, this. That was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday. This has what consequences. Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business. Yeah, fuck that. I like telling Officer David Dickhead off. All right, so that's a drone. This is a no drone zone. Parking, parking's that way. Let's go that way. Apparently, the game's just gonna let us do it, or just gonna do it itself. So, fine by me. Well, that's some nasty frame rate at the very beginning of that. Standing in front of my shitty car. I'm Warren. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being... I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Can't read what the, it says in there. It says tarred something. Spray isn't that cool. Oh, Max, check it out. What do you want? And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Oh, hey. God. No problem. Oh. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. Let me go in for a hug. Uh. To be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. I don't want to talk about it. Jeez, you're a little miss sensitive today. 
Hey, don't be a dick, sure asshole. Not in the mood today. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. I torrented all these movies and, th and TV shows. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. What? Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in <laughs> Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. No, someone like that. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? <laughs> if I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. Oh, Jesus. But you seem distracted. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Next. Don't go post on some fucking Twitter afterwards, I had asshole. This incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Answer me, bitch. Whoa, come on. See this. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Oh jeez, ow, headbutt. Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom. No. <gasps> Max? Chloe? Oh shit. Wait. <laughs> you again. Go, go, I got this. Oh. Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! So, shitty, rich, trust fund kid is a huge piece of shit. Shocker. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt, and you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs. Sloppy like that other girl. <laughs> and my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No, you were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. 
You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. You got a point. Also, why is no one wearing a seatbelt? Come on. It's very dangerous. Broken? Oh, man, are you serious? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. My I step need douche. Specific, tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. <laughs> 